Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. And we just completed a uh, alien abduction, so that was nice. In the observatory, so there we go. Uh, let's see here. We have a whole bunch of stuff coming up, but most notably the covert operation. So let's see if we can get that done here. Um, actually, before we go on, there's also some promotions I want to do. Um, let's see here. And Kim Murray, I find, or Jenna Walker, Kim Murray was someone else. Yeah, the other Canadian. <laughs> Jenna, I'm going to make into a scout. We're really low on scouts, available scouts. Her movement's the only bad thing about it. Other than that, I do like her as a scout, so that's what we're going to do with that. We're also going to put Amani as... Uh, t -t 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 what was it? What was I thinking? Engineer. She's just not very good. <laughs> Sorry, it's... Yeah. At least you can throw grenades and be okay. Really, that's about it. And then... Where's our other one? That we got. Sophia Vida. Again, if you didn't have that low defense you'd be a good scout or assault but you don't so I'm thinking medic for you because we just made the other one an engineer and that's about the right stats for it so here you go you're also going to get um, we could make you kind of like a overwatch style Suppression, no, I wouldn't want suppression and rapid reaction, but we could give you field surgeon, steadfast. You have decent will already. No, I think we'll go field surgeon with you. Revive would be nice. Rapid reaction will give you three extra aim. So you're not going to really, sh yeah, your aim's not high enough really to be good for rapid reaction, I think. Uh, but we could do that and then ready for anything which would be great so yeah we're gonna do that Oof. well there we go that's that was a good roll on that movement so perfect an overwatch medic that'll be nice all right mission control let's go let's see what we can do all right, we have a small UFO coming across the U.S. We have no interceptors, though. Now we do. Pyro's back. All right, let's go out at it. Let's do a balanced approach. It's not one that we've seen before, so it's probably going to hurt us. So we might try and shoot it, go, shoot it, go, etc. Something like that. Oh, you hit it. Two hits. Well, you hit it twice and didn't take too much damage, but I don't think that's going to be enough to scare it off. That sucks. Uh, 16 weapon fragments for an engineer. I don't think we can do that. Yeah, it bombed the states. That's no good. Jayhawk's there now. Oh, too bad. But now we have a large abductor coming into... South America and I don't think there's anything we can really do about that for taking it down as much as I would love to I mean, we could scramble Pluto but I don't think he's gonna take it down so let's just do the abduction Commander, there we go we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The Corrientes the nice urban block all right here we go we can do this so we have I think just the one lieutenant right now? Yeah, everyone else is hurt. So, Demon, you're coming along. Uh, we're going to bring a, our PSC rookie, probably you guys down here. Aru. Um, we'll want to bring some decent people that can actually hit as well. Let's bring Psycho. Got good aim. Um, let's see here scout which will be 
yeah, Jenna Walker, we're going to bring Nestor, actually, yeah, you're in a good spot. We need a Assault, let's bring Buttercup down here, we'll put in Nestor, the Medic. We can bring Juanita, and we can bring probably a Gunner. Doc, Disco, Red, as long as it's not Red Shirt, we can bring Chung, Chai Long. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, you're gonna get yourself a Auto Laser Flashbang. Where is it? There you go. You, uh, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with you. Alright, Medic, you get yourself the laser rifle buttercup you get the laser scatter rifle phalanx armor or the scatter laser laser scatter rifle <laughs> I don't know what I'm think saying here alright you're getting the marksman phalanx battle scanner marksman scope Battle scanner, right? We're not in, yeah, large combat zone. Yeah, so that should be fine. Infantry. You're going laser sight, uh, laser rifle. Demon, you're getting laser sniper scope. Uh, you are going to be carrying one of the arc throwers. We're also going to give you a Carbine Phalanx. There we go. And, oh yeah, we didn't give you the other Arc Thrower. There you go. So you have an AP Grenade. Do we want you with, with an AP Grenade? Or something else? Probably Flashbang. Lots of flashes, I know, but kind of need them. Then you need a laser weapon. It's a laser carbine. And you can also take one of the phalanx armors. So we have one more phalanx. What else? Who else do we want? Probably the medic. There you go. Alright, let's go. Lots of water today. We're moving into All right. Next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Dying night. Nice. The alien abductions are becoming more brazen every day. We've got reports coming in of attacks in broad daylight. We're the only ones who can respond to this threat, so we should get down there. In broad daylight, but we're going here. Oh, is it actually daytime? Huh. Oh, in the picture, it looked like it was night. They're usually at night. So. Okay. You know what? This isn't too bad of one. There's usually pods over here. If we're gonna take take a look over here first. I don't wanna go over too far this way. So we're just kinda gonna move up here. And You saw the cyber disc in the wall. Of course you did. Blow this guy up. There we go. We don't have to worry about him. But what that means is everyone has to get over here. Cyber disc might be coming across over the uh, whole thing here. That'd be bad. <sighs> Sigh. We need to peep we need people to get into full cover, basically. If you move here, are you gonna see people? No. Good. <laughs> Alright. You're moving in. I think way over here. I don't know if they can actually open up the door or not. That's that's the thing. 
you're gonna move up to this one so you can throw grenades in at it you should probably come out over here something like that maybe over here in case something comes along this way so you can see it from that side and you you're the medic why don't you come around to this full cover over here we want to spread out a bit as we don't want to are you kidding me two cyber discs wow meld over there okay two cyber discs wow I and meld up there um yeah. <laughs> Alright, you gotta get over here, take that overwatch shot away, and we gotta do damage to this guy. 37, 67 over there, you're taking that. 4 damage crit, nice, well, it, it works. Uh, let's see, this is full cover here. You might have to go over there. The Enemy and Seekers. Well, that's bad. But, you could suppress the Cyber Disc. You have a good chance to hit it, though. I do like that. You could run and gun over here. Do you have close qu quarter specialists? Close encounters, close combat specialists. Actually, this could be very good for you. We're going to run and gun you something like this, probably right here. So you can blast this cyber disc. Can you hit it? That's the big question. Now we do have our... Yeah. You're coming over here and you're tossing out some AP grenades. AP grenades. All the AP grenades. We want to hit probably the cyber disc. You could hit all of these Seekers, though, and that would be really nice. Alright, we'll come back to you. Did we bring a Rocketeer? I don't think we did. So that's bad. So I don't know if the Cyber Disc can actually go through that door or not, so that would be great if they cannot. Now our Sniper can't actually see anything. I don't like that. You're overwatching then. Just in case. Uh, you. So if you can see him, see three things from here. One, two, three. Yeah. One. You have that 82 to hit it. But I don't think even if we hit him with the scatter laser, it's going to do much. So you're going to suppress the cyber disc because he sucks. You're probably going to run and gun like something like this or actually right up close. You could get in here like this and blast someone or something. So let's do that because we do still want to spread out a bit. And you have 100% on this guy. We might just take that because he's, he's going to be the big threat. And you killed him. Good. Alright. That helps me out a little bit with what I want to do. You have two shots. 92 on that one. 92 on that one. Let's get the closer one. He's dead. Good. Now you can come out here and smoke us a little bit. You can get these three. Let's do that. <laughs> Smoke to the air. Maybe just two? Are you not actually in it? It showed you were. Ah. Uh, and you're not in it either. 
Well, so much for that. All right. You're going to toss this AP grenade basically right on top of the cyber disk, or as much as you can on top of the cyber disk. A little bit of the seeker, too. One damage, two damage. Well, we'll take it. And you're overwatching from here, because there's another cyber disk coming around somewhere. You're repairing it, that's not surprising. You suck. You're gonna shoot at Chilong, but you're suppressed, so that's nice. Good miss. Alright, we'll take that. And close quarters specialist. Close quarter specialist. Close combat specialist. Here we go. Dead seeker. Now I still don't like where this other one might be. Probably up uh, how the heck do we get up here for this meld? Well, that's not fair, game. <laughs> well then, all right, Chilong, hit the cyber disc. Eight damage, nice, and hollow targeted. Hit the cyber disc. Three damage. Okay, we'll take that. You only have one shot left, ammo wise. Hit the cyber disc, kill it. Nice. There we go. And that blew up your cover, but that's okay. That drone is exposed, so here we go. 79% chance. One damage. <laughs> All you have to do is more than one damage. Sigh. Alright, move up here. You take a shot at it. 75% chance to hit. There we go. Dead drone. You have to keep on overwatching in case that other cyber disc comes from that side. You still have another action. You're gonna go get into cover and close to this meld. Again, I don't know where this other cyber disc went, so you're overwatching here. You're gonna move like this and overwatch from there. I have a feeling it's still just over there. But you never know. You're grabbing this meld and then reloading. And now I think we want to move up towards these um, doors. Here, we'll probably put the medic over onto this side. You, I guess we don't really need the, uh, the lasers this time, eh? You're going to come out this way, and you're going to run out to this door, because we can get at these, yeah, there's totally right outside the door. You have grenades, so you need to be up there. I really don't know what we're going to do with the sniper. I guess maybe you're going to try to come along this way and get behind it. You need to come up this way. And you need to come out this way. And then in a turn or two. Yeah, it's just like staying right out there. I'd like to kill it sooner rather than later because we have that meld there that I really want to get. Alright, reload. You get as far over here as you can because we're going to wait, I think, like two more turns. Here we go. You need to reload. You're over here reloading. You're just going to overwatch for now. You're moving up to here. Reload. 
Reload. There we go. Yeah. Actually, you might as well overwatch just in case something weird happens. You're overwatching in case it comes around the corner. Well, the drone did. That's a miss. Alright. It's gonna shoot at us? No, it's gonna go through the door! Not cool. Wow, uh, well we know where the cyber disc is. And it's going to shoot at our sniper. Nope, throwing a grenade at the sniper. No, actually, that's... I'd rather it had done that, to be honest. Alright, well, this is bad. Open this door. What do you see? Nothing. Of course. Uh, you guys open this door. What do you see? Nothing course. This cyber disc, like where is it in all actuality? It's over on this side, so we can't really do too much about that. You can run like way over here, so that's what you're doing. There you go. It doesn't have a grenade now, so that's good, but we can't really get to it to attack. This is a bad position for us. Okay. You're gonna go over here and you're overwatching. No, you're not gonna overwatch yet. You... I mean, in theory, you could go right here or right here. Can you close that door? No. <laughs> like the gunner, you're gonna move up over here. You're probably just going to overwatch. You can see it as well, but I want you over here in case it comes through that window. Okay. You're moving up to here. Same thing in case it comes through that window. I think it's too high so that grenade's not really going to do too much, so you try and kill the drone. Nice. Good. Uh, let's see here. What do we do with you? You can come around this way and overwatch in case it comes out and around. Overwatching. Yeah, overwatching. And you need to boogie. Like, all the way over here. Yeah, both of those meld canisters are gone. That's stupid. Up on the roof. Alright, you're coming over here. High cover. I don't know where to put you, really. Because this is just bad, bad positions for all of us. We put you over here, I guess. Or out this way, by the medic. Or by the sniper so you can medkit them. It's not really a bad idea. And there it is. And here comes the shots. Miss. Miss. Great. It's like way back there. If it stays there, can we see it through the door? You can't actually see it. You're going to heal our sniper. You can see it though. 45%. Hmm. What I'd rather do is draw out the Overwatch. Maybe go right to here. Because that way it'll open up. As long as he doesn't blow up the uh, door here. Good, miss. Because you could, in theory, attempt to hit it. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna go here and see if you can see it. No, you don't. How do you not see it from there? Alright, 
you're moving here and AP grenading it. Landing this like right on top of it. Grenade out. Three damage. Wow, that was not as much as I was hoping for. Let's put it that way. You're overwatching just in case you can see it. I'm tempted to move you up slightly, still in this full cover. 47 to hit. We'll take it. Especially since you actually hit it. Two damage. Nice. Good. Yeah, you have to overwatch from here for me. Yeah, you're overwatching. You're coming around this way. You can see it, but it's not going to do anything. You're just hunkering down. Now, our infantry can move over here, but I doubt you'll actually see it. I'm thinking I put the infantry back over here, because next turn, at least you can come out. No, we're going to put you right here. So I'm hoping we can get you to where that spot is so you can shoot at it twice. This is going to hurt. Ow, six damage, yeah. All right. We have to kill it this turn, so here we go. You see it. Blast them. 57%, that's all. Wow. Well, at least he hollow targeted it. I missed the target. You need to run and gun right up next to it. And just give it a face full of, well, everything. Just, it, oh, one second here. Before I do that, you can come out. Actually, you could take his spot, her spot. So that's. That'll be really nice. You have a carbine. You have an HE grenade that you can land right on top of it. So do we hit it with an HE grenade first? Because I want to hit it with explosives if we can. All right, you need to come somewhere where you can see it. I don't think you're going to see it from there, but you will see it from here. Take a shot. 55. Come on, guys. 5 damage crit. Alright. It's closed now, so let's throw a grenade at it. Grenade out. 1 damage. Wow. I really wish our sniper could see it. If you move here, can you see it? Yes. Wow. All right, you need to move like out here so you can actually shoot it. 47%. Come on, guys. 3 damage. All right. Means you could in theory hit it. 57. Let's just get you nice and close, basically as close as you can. 86. Come on. 1 damage. Alright, you've run and gunned, right? Yeah. You're moving right up to there. And blasting it. See if you get the kill. Four damage. Oh. <laughs> Has one health left. 82%. There we go. It might hurt both of them, but that's okay. Yeah. Three damage. That's fine. Oh. That was close. Two cyber discs, though. Can you believe that? Eight aliens killed. We didn't get that all the meld either, because, well, that's just not good. I mean, with how much they've, uh... Like, where they were on that map. How You can't even get up there without, like, special armor. I don't think that's fair. Alright, we do have three promotions though. Our specialist uh, has been promoted to a Lance Corporal. You are the medic. I think you're gonna go suppression as well. Suppression's just nice to have. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what I'm gonna make you yet, but Cleopatra. Nice. You get heat warheads, I think. There you go. 
do more damage to that. And we'll come back to you. What does it say that you should be? You could be a good assault, actually. 14 movement. You have really low health, though. That's the bad thing. Don't want to make a low health assault. Your aim's not the greatest. Alright, I don't know what to make you either. Two Cyber Discs Rex, three Drone Rex, 14 Illyrium, 17 Alien Alloys, 9 Weapon Fragments, 16 Melt, 3 Seeker Rex, 96 more credits, and a damaged Carbine. Be in touch, Commander. So let's go repair that. Three days. Uh, UFO analysis is done in a day, so why don't we just see if we can get that done right now. Yep, there we go. So, UFO analysis. The deadly destroyer presented a much greater threat to our aircraft than its sister class of ships. Armor-piercing weapons are required to defeat this craft. It appears to be primarily be used for air raids and anti-satellite operations, although we may see it conduct reconnaissance missions as well. Our analysis note the presence of unused hard points on some images of this craft, is so we should look out for upgraded versions with even more killing power. Oh, wow. Great. It really makes me want to get advanced aerospace concepts, because that'll help us out a lot. But I want to get these autopsies done as well. It's just that our uh, our air game just seems to be falling apart, and it's not good. So, you know, I'm I'm gonna do these autopsies first. Advanced body armor would be nice too, but we, we need more scientists. <laughs> That's what we need. So drone autopsy it is to start. This there unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. So that'll be nice to get done. It's only two days. Uh, we do have 102 credits. Now, in when we're looking at our hangers, ready in one day, that one's ready, but it has the Phoenix Cannon, which is still better than the Stingrays. I would love to upgrade it to a laser cannon, but it's just... <laughs> it's just not gonna work right now. I think this one, when it comes here, is gonna get a laser cannon and we're gonna move one of these guys over again, take one of these ones out. I'd like to get probably another interceptor ordered. Um, let's see here. Now, is there anything we really want to sell? I mean, we could do this to get one one engineer, but I don't really want to. The gray market, we could sell some floater corpses. We need 50 credits, basically. Sell 16 floater corpses. <laughs> we could sell some Illyrium. We could sell our other fusion core, but I'd rather not. I wanted to keep one of them, although, I mean, it's just going to stay here for a very, very long time. And that would get us pretty up there in terms of cash as well. So you know what? I think I'm going to sell the other fusion core. I know it's going to be hard to get another one, but we will get more eventually. And for what they do for us, right now, it's just going to sit there and... I'd rather get the money now so we can get a couple more interceptors. All right, order interceptors. Let's get two. That way we have more coming in. We will upgrade. We're gonna need more laser cannons as well. So we're gonna need one, two, we have four. We're gonna need four more laser cannons. So how much do laser cannons cost now? 98, so we're going to need basically 400 more credits. So I think that's the next thing we're going to be getting. But 
that's, that'll be it for this episode. I think next episode will be a covert operation. So thanks again for watching Draymond Does Gaming. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.